A Democrat has now formally entered the race for Rob Portman's Senate seat. Congressman Tim Ryan made it official today. Our Mark Nimick spoke with him and gives us a rundown of where that battle stands now. Stop talking about Dr. Seuss and start working with us on behalf of the American workers. Known for fiery floor speeches and short-lived campaigns for other offices, including the White House, the 10-term congressman launched his bid with a message aimed at those in the Mahoning Valley and beyond. Well, workers want to vote for somebody that, that cares about them, and they want to vote for somebody who's going to cut them in on the deal and fight like hell to cut them in on the deal. He's the only Democrat in the race at the moment. But across the aisle, four Republicans with ties to Northeast Ohio are in, including former state treasurer Josh Mendel, former Ohio GOP chairwoman Jane Timken, car dealer and entrepreneur Bernie Marino, and Cleveland Investment banker Mike Gibbons. All of them staying close to former President Trump's agenda. He's elected to fight for you. Harder. And it's motivated me to run for the U.S. Senate. I want to go to Washington to stand up for the Trump America First agenda. Well, they can stand with whosoever agenda they want to. I'm going to be standing with the workers' agenda. And that means making sure their kids have good schools, they have affordable health care because health care is too expensive, and we're going to invest into the future. We're going to dominate these industries of the future here in Ohio, and that means making these big investments into our workers. The U.S. Senate race here, of course, is a test of the candidates' messages, but it's also a test of former President Donald Trump's politics in Ohio, which backed him twice. As a result, you could see the former president returning to Ohio before next year's election. I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.